Good morning and welcome to my latest video blog about my coaching journey. As I mentioned last time, I am going to be moving into networks and IT, which is kind of like going home, um, but a little bit different because I'm going in as a coach. So this week we had a swarm around the backlog that the group coaches have put together for some of the initial work that's going to be needed in that area. I um, helped to organise that so that we could kick off I don't do very well with not being busy, so I was keen to get some work assigned. So what we found out was that we're not actually going to be necessarily assigned to teams. The work in the backlog may include working with teams, but as there are 400 teams and less than 40 coaches, um, and it's not really possible to one-on-one -on -one coach 10 teams each, it's not going to work as a... Um, having each coach assigned to a set of teams and working that way. So to make the most impact, what the group coaches have decided to do is work on the pain points basically and give the best outcomes that we can to networks and IT through a variety of different approaches. So for example, the task I've put my hand up is helping set up some new missions. Um, other people have been assigned to some areas that are struggling to adopt Agile and other people have assigned themselves, so I shouldn't say been assigned because we did self-select, have assigned themselves to areas such as uplifting Scrum Masters, um, setting up community cadences, um, the impediments process. So things that can really make a difference at a group level or a um, group of people level rather than being assigned to missions. So I'm really looking forward to getting started with that. Um, I've got a meeting today with one of the group coaches to find out more about the missions that they need to set up. So that's going to be my role for the next 16 weeks I guess and we'll see after that. Very exciting times for me. Also next week I am doing some, getting a formal certification in Agile facilitation. Um, I've decided that as fantastic as the Academy has been that for some things I would like to have an externally recognised certification. Um, I guess a bit of future proofing. I don't imagine that Telstra is going to need coaches forever. Um, so I'm hoping it's for a while yet, but I'm always a plan for the worst, hope for the best girl. So this is part of my planning for the worst is making sure that what I do um, is something that's recognised externally so that if I do find myself out in the market, I um, will hopefully be able to find work. So, but I am looking forward to that course because even if it's something that I know the basics of. I did learn it when everything was new to me. So having, even if it's a pure refresher, having that when you've been doing something for six months is always going to be a great reminder. But also I find that when different people teach you even the same material, you learn different things. So I think that'll be fantastic. I reached out to a couple of people I've worked with in the past, um, to ask them about what I needed to focus on as far as facilitation goes. Um, they gave me some general tips and about what good facilitation looks like, so I'll keep those in mind while I'm doing the course as well. Um, one of them was lovely, which was that the person they knew that facilitated very well was always gracious. When someone was late, whatever was going on in the room, they didn't react you know, in a negative way. And I think that's a really lovely way of facilitating. So that's something I'll definitely keep in mind. There you go. It's only four and a half minutes. So I'm going to stop now and let you go for another week. And I'll talk to you again, hopefully next week, when I start a work in NNIT officially. Thank you.